Trent Nitas snuck up on the field to leap to the 2013 state high jump title, a luxury he won't have this season. I feel like there's a lot of pressure to win every single time that I'm jumping, but let's use that to help get better. Yeah, they, they're different. People are different. They always ask, how's he, how he feeling? They kind of want to see him try attempt it. You know, I'd be like to see somebody try to attempt something. Any pressure hasn't kept Nitas down. He's already cleared 6'10 in a meet this outdoor season, which is tied for the highest jump in the state this year. Just how high is 6'10? Well, I'm about 6'1. That means he's jumping 9 inches over top of my head or about the same as the average door frame you would find in your home or office. He's not content with 6'10 and a potential repeat, though. Nitas is refining his technique, stretching his limits in hopes of besting the current state record of seven feet, one that stood since 1992. It's going to take a perfect jump, really work on that technique, get that there, and then the adrenaline at state really helps get that extra two inches. People that are out jumping and leaving the ground, I mean, you just have no fear and just kind of no, you're not going to get hurt. Fearlessly leaping, unafraid, could earn Trent a place in Wisconsin high school sports history. It'd mean a lot to me to be remembered as the greatest high jumper ever in Wisconsin. From surprise state champ to the all-time best, now that is setting the bar high. In Kakana, Jude Wilbers, Fox 11 Sports.